All right, you guys, well, welcome to our team connection call. I'm always happy to see you guys. And um, is there anybody that has any wins or celebrations, any wows, any questions before we get started? Anything you guys are celebrating? Do you want to share? Uh, Vicki, we can't hear you, hon. You're talking, but we cannot hear you. Got, I had to get yeah. unmuted. Um, I had some success over the last couple months with Tower Gardens. I've uh, placed six Tower Gardens in three schools. And that came from a lead to speak to Garden Club. So I hadn't thought about Garden Clubs before. So that's another, uh, that's another place that um, we can farm for. So share that with everybody. That's great, Vicki. You're doing such a great job. Thanks. So exciting. And that is else? exciting. Anything else? I'm getting texts of people that are not being able to get on the call suddenly. Well, it's okay if we have a small group. We are recording, so and we're going to talk tonight about in-home events and th with the Healthy Living Revolution. And um, I'd love for you guys to pipe in whenever okay don't just let this be me you know droning on and on so um i will ask you guys to do that is that fair enough mm -hmm. okay great so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to share my screen and you guys can see that right no you can't i just see you you just see me how about now see you okay hold on let me unplug my. One second. How about now? Yes. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So tonight we're going to talk about in home events. Um, I think that this is really key to be able to easily duplicate um, yourself and and that's kind of why we do this you know business is to you know from the business perspective is that you know for us to be able to go out and share with more people obviously the more people we help the the more income that we make and I love that because you know the money and the mission have to get married you guys have heard me say that before and some people come into this business just to make money and that's okay but in order for them to do that, they're going to have to help a lot of people. And we have some people that come into this and they just want to help people. And the more people they help, they're going to make money. So, you know, I think in-home events are great because one is they create community. And community is what duplicates you guys. Don't you, don't you agree that being part of something that's bigger than just you really makes a lot of sense and is a lot more fun to do? Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. So, so why do we do in-home events? Well, one is we become a resource. So why do we even sign that distributor application and join the team? It's so that we can help other people. And, you know, whether you're somebody that wants to do it casually or you want, you're somebody that wants to create a nice income stream, an in-home event is still a really good idea because it helps you to positively impact other people's lives. Um, it's free. You can just, you know, for free. You can do this for free. You don't have to go out and get a big hotel space. Um, it's fun. And again, it duplicates easily because people that come go, oh, I can do that. So I'll give you a great example. Today, um, Rachel Van Pelt, we have done two events at her house in the last month. And she had one of her people who came, who joined her team today. And when I said to her, you know what, let's do a get together. And that way we can share this with all of your friends and you know Rachel will come over and you'll be a guest in your own home she was like that sounds great because she'd already seen it so she wasn't afraid of it and so many hands make light work when you're able to have you doing in-home events and people that are joining your team doing in-home events now we have a little army of people that are out sharing the mission of inspiring healthy living around the world and it's not just relied on you and I love this little quote that says, there is no exercise better for the heart than reaching down and lifting people up. 
And that is so true. And that's really why we do this. That's what we're doing. And so I know a lot of people sometimes get worried about, oh, I don't want to be pushy. I don't want people to feel obligated to come. I think that if you reframe that and go, you know what? I feel obligated to share it with my friends so that they can be as healthy as possible and they can decide for themselves, but I'm going to have it off my chest that they got to hear about Jesus. Plus, I think you'll find that most people are interested in bettering their health. And when they see what a great tool Juice Plus is, most of the time they're going to want to add that into their diet. So don't be afraid to ask and don't be afraid to invite and don't be afraid to let people decide if it's for them or it's not for them. So, you know, that's, that's really key. Okay, so success meets the well-prepared. You know, I'm not going to go through a whole presentation tonight. I just want to give you some, some ideas to think about. And, um, you know, the, the one thing, sorry, we've got a little bit of a background noise here. I'm going to mute that real quick. <laughs> okay. So keep things simple. Okay. First thing is you, you set one up. And before, before I go into that, when you're setting up an in-home event, you guys, the one thing on inviting that I really want to stress is set up more than one. And the reason is, is people like choices, okay? So if I am getting my business launched or I'm deciding to just start hosting events, I want to set one up maybe this week and next week or maybe Thursday night or Saturday night. Because then when I call somebody and say, I'd love for you to hear about this, you know, I'm having a little get together either Thursday or Saturday morning, which works better for you, you'll find that about 98% of the people that you talk to will slide into one of those dates. If you set up one and they can't come, and then you set up another and they can't come, are you gonna call them a third time? No. Well, maybe. Will, will it be more difficult to call them a third time? Absolutely. Yeah, because your brain's gonna start thinking what? Negative. Negative. They're not interested, whatever. And they might've just been busy. So, so give people a choice, give them some times at work. And then remember also that the invitation to that event opens up the conversation, whether they can come or not. And so if neither of those dates work for them, what you want to do is say, gosh, I'd, I'd hate for you to wait till the next one. Why don't you and I just grab a coffee this next week or lunch? You know, let's get together you and me one-on-one. -on -one. Okay. Fair enough? Yeah. Yes. Okay. All right. Keep things simple. Don't over clean your house. Some people are like, oh, I get my house. It's my house. You know what? If you have a couch and you have a, a table or whatever, or even if you don't, you've got floor space, it's the perfect house. But don't spend all day cleaning your house. Okay. Pick up or whatever, but people aren't coming there to inspect your cleaning. And the more normal you are, the more comfortable they're going to feel, especially if they decide that they want to join you and have one at theirs. I like to serve shakes and bars as my snacks. Um, I want them to try our products. So I like to whip up some shakes before, right before they walk in the door. And I just serve them in those little plastic wine glasses or a juice glass. They don't need a big one because usually I do mine around seven o'clock if it's in the evening and most people have eaten by then. And then I like to take the bars and just chop one bar up into little bite-sized pieces and you can put them in a little bowl or martini glass or something fun, whatever. And that's usually what I do. If you want to serve alcohol, that's your choice. Um, some people do, some people don't. I don't think it really matters. Um, I haven't had a bad experience at any event that did not serve alcohol or that did. Um, so for me, I like to do red and white wine and call it good and um, keep it that simple as well. All right. And if you go, well, I really want to put something else out. Just do something simple like nuts or maybe a small veggie tray. Again, most people will have eaten by then and you, we want them drinking the shake. Okay. So simple. Be prepared. And so again, you want to have those shakes made before they arrive, hand each person one as they come in. You want to have your coffee table or your table, you know, set with, you know, a bowl of the chopped bars for them to sample, maybe the gummies, maybe you want to make little um, shish kebabs with toothpicks on them or just have the gummy sample packs, which is super easy. Or what I do is I just pass around the gummy, the big gummy packet if I don't have the samples on hand and let people just pick one out but it's all there. All the products are set on the table. I have order forms and pens 
right there on the table. Okay, so it's not like I'm having to go hunt for them right when people are trying to make a decision that they want to be on Juice Plus. And, you know, if you like a brochure or two, sometimes I'll put a couple of different brochures on the table, but I certainly don't put a lot out. The other thing I didn't put on here that I really like is I think people are visual. So I think having that placemat that shows what's in Juice Plus or one of the postcards is really, really, yeah. really helpful. Okay. And then a simple presentation. Okay. You don't have to be the expert. Use the Healthy Living Revolution book or we have that same presentation on the computer on PowerPoint you can open up your laptop and use that or you can if you've got a hookup you can click it into the TV and just use the book okay but the most important thing is is don't make it so much a presentation make it about your guests and what I like to do is after we all sit down and we've you know thank them for coming the first thing that I ask them is what would you change in your health or if you could change something in your health what would it be and why and I have each person answer that question why do you guys think that I I asked that first what do you think that I'm doing customizing your presentation right how, how does that how does that customize my presentation Andra because you hear what their goals are and then you can if you have a whole group of ladies, for example, that are really wanting to drop some pounds pretty quickly, then you might do more of a shred 10 presentation. Right. You have a bunch of gardeners that, you know, have a green thumb, you might really focus on the tower. So it's really helpful. Yeah, that's right. And so, yeah, so they're going to, they're going to be able to tell me what I information I need to give them. So you're absolutely right. And when you guys, the ones of you that have done this, do they all answer the same thing? No, not always. Hardly ever, right? Yes. So it's nice to be able to, you know, kind of say, oh, well, and you said that you have diabetes and you're worried about um, inflammation or whatever. You said that you're, um, you're needing to lose some weight. That tells me I'm going to spend a little bit more time maybe on, a, on the research part of that or maybe a little bit more on the SHRED program, okay? And then I don't know if you guys remember our MAPS formula, but there's a great little acronym that helps you to remember kind of how to go through your presentation. And one is that motivating question. M is for motivating question, okay? So when I ask them, now I, even, I haven't talked about G's Plus at all, you know, if you could change something in your health, what would it be? In other words, what motivated them to even come over? They knew they were coming for G's Plus. Then I'm going to say to them, look, you know what? I'm going to share some information with you. I might share my story right here even and say, you know what, this is what happened for me. You know, if it's for you, great. If not, no hard feelings. Okay, I'm going to, that's called a takeaway. And it just lets them have a little bit of ease to know that they're not going to be feeling guilty or feeling obligated to buy something at the end. But we're just here to share. And now that they know that we're talking to them, we've, they've already had a voice, you will see that everybody goes, Oh, this is going to be great. So, and that, but then I'm going to probe around, I'm going to talk to them a little bit more about their problems. So, you know, when you said that you wanted to lose weight, so I've approached their pro problem. I'm going to also, the other piece, probe around the problem. I'm going to say, what else have you tried? Why do you think that didn't work? Okay, so, um, or somebody says, um, you know, I'm training for, you know, a triathlon and, um, you know, I, I know I'm not eating enough fruits and vegetables. So what do you think is going to happen if you don't eat enough fruits and vegetables? How that, how is that going to affect your training? So I'm just going to get down really eyeball to eyeball with that person. I'm going to meet them where they are and find out a little bit more about them. And it's just, it's an extra question or two. This isn't like a 10 or 15 minute conversation with each person. It's one minute. Okay. And then after I kind of go through that with all of those people, then I say, look, you know what? Well, with your permission, I'm going to show you something that's, that I think would benefit all of you. Um, I'm here to share with you the solution of Juice Plus. And so we're going to get started. So then I'm going to go right to my presentation book. And, um, and, and then I'm just going to pick out what I want to talk to them about. And um, let me stop this share real quick. And so I may not even spend any time on every slide. I might pick one or two slides that really 
was more about what they needed to hear about. I'm not going to go through and talk to them about, you know, what, what I love about Juice Plus is that we know what happens in the body. I always love to kind of spend a little bit more time around the research and going through, you know, how do you think by having less inflammation, how do you think that would affect your ability to be ready for that next training ride you talked about, right? So I can kind of sew the research results back into what they wanted based on what they told me so that they can see that the solution will help them. Does that make sense? So not, um, this isn't hard. This, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to do this. You can just ask that motivating question, find out a little bit more, go through the Healthy Living Revolution book. You know, you may, you may not even need to talk about every slide and at the end, just say, hey, you know, did you see how, did you guys see how having these results would help you with less inflammation in your body, would help you have a healthier pregnancy or whatever it is they said, and they say yes, well, if you'd like to get started, here's how you do that. And then I'm going to pass out the order forms. And then I'm going to go around and, and ask questions. Now, the other thing I like to have is little starter packets for everybody. And what I like to get is whatever Promo Plus has, I pack them with uh, four or five of each of the capsules. And I give that, I put all of them in there, including the Omega, so that they know that they're available if I have them. Okay, if you don't have them, don't, don't worry about that. But I'll just tell them, look, you know what, if you'd like to get started, we're going to actually get you started tonight. I'm going to give you a starter set and you can get started tonight. And then Juice Plus will ship your, your Juice Plus to you fresh right from the warehouse to your door. And um, you're done. Just ask and get them started. Now, the other thing is you also want to say, look, you know what, did you also know other people that are training? Do you know, do you know other people that are struggling with their nutrition for training? Yes. Would you be willing to be a resource for them? Do you know other people? Do you have other pregnant mamas or people with kids? Do you know people with kids? Would you be willing to be a resource for them? Yes. Gosh, well, for $50, you can join our team. What word did you not hear me say? Um, rap. Rep, rep and did you guys want to be do you guys want to distribute stuff no do you want to wrap stuff no but would you like to join a team sure. and be a no. resource yeah. okay so it's a little bit of a verbiage tweak but it's not as scary for people and we really are just resources um so you know and then i just say to them you know if, if that's the case would you be willing to be a resource it's fifty dollars you might as well just join the team. You're going to get more than that back on, you know, the trio that you just ordered here. And um, I'll, what I like to do is I like to say to them, you know, I would be willing to have you join our team, but I have one prerequisite. And that is, is that in the next day or two that we do a getting started meeting with you, it'll take me about 40 minutes to 45 minutes. And that way I can show you how to take care of your, your own order because I won't have access to it. And I'd like to sh get you all set up with your virtual office and all of that. And then I want to show you what you can do with it and you can decide what you want to do. Fair enough. And I'm setting up that appointment right there before they walk out that door. Okay, so I've got, I've got what they're going to order on their order form. I've got their, all the information I need to have them join the team. They've got their starter set and I have my appointment. Okay. How do you guys feel about that? I think it's good. It's concise. It's not pushy. It's not selling. It's just sharing, trying to make a difference in people's lives. I like it. So, Diana, we just did your first wellness presentation. You did? Yes. And you know, I was going to use my computer. I, I drove an hour to her house. I walked in the door. The whole way I'm going, I feel like I forgot something. I kept going through, <laughs> you know, I got the gummies. I got, I forgot the computer. And I was like, oh my gosh. And then I went, okay, it doesn't matter. It's just, we're going to talk to them about Juice Plus. And we just pulled Diana's little HLR book that came in the starter kit. And we just flipped the pages and said, you know, here's what's in Juice Plus, And here's, you know, we shared our stories. And your story is the most important piece 
of that besides asking them and making it about them. It's your story, okay? So don't feel like you have to have every little factoid about whatever disease in Juice Plus. You don't. It's fruits and vegetables. Do they think that if they ate a better diet that that would help that? Or it's okay to say, I don't know. That's a great question, but I can find out and get back to you. Yeah. Okay, so don't, don't make it hard, you guys. Make it easy for people to get on Juice Plus. Make it easy for them to join your team. And I think that right now we are in shred season. People are wanting to get into their bikinis, swimsuits coming up for the summer. And this is a great time to do a healthy living revolution and put the shred information in there. It's all in the same presentation. You know, if it's not, if you're not talking to people that, would be candidates for shred. You're spending a little bit more time on the front end and saying, we have this program. It's great. And this is kind of how it works, but you don't maybe need to spend all the time on it if you don't have the people that we're going to shred. So like Diana's group that we did, they weren't really thinking about shredding. They were, they were actually worried more about certain aspects of their health. And so that's where we spent the time, but it was the same presentation, same tool. So questions. Mm. Comments. Mm -mm. Diana, how many how many people came to your event? We had um, four. How many people signed up? Three. Nice. Yeah. And the other one is thinking about it. Yes. And probably well. Reagan, when you say signed up, was that product or as a team member? Diana? That was a uh, product. And we have one of them who has a meeting to join the team. Awesome. Right? Mm-hmm. Great. Yeah. So, not too bad. Not too shabby. Mm -mm. And it was, I think, you know, I think we, I, we, we like to start on time, but we did start a little bit late, I think. Yeah. And, um, you know, we were there. Everybody was gone within an hour and a half, I think, max. So, and then I, you know, stayed and visited way too long with Diana because we were having fun. But. <laughs> <laughs> yes, because, you know, Reagan, in, um, in my book club, I've been, you know, letting people know that I do Juice Plus and they, well, they've known I, I do Juice Plus. And there are two gals which are very good friends. And the one has come on and she's doing a shred now and she's taken all the products. And um, the other gal, her good buddy, uh, has scooted all around with a lot of questions. And then when I say, well, you know, would you like to get started? And she's like, well, I still want to think about it. Well, girlfriend A, is now saying, oh my gosh, I feel so much better. My husband's in my product, my this, my that. And she's like, oh, well, maybe I'll revisit that conversation. So I think it, I think it is, I've always been a person that was reluctant to do the group things, you know. So, um, but I'm finding that if you have a couple of them and you just get, even if you just got one out of that four, and then from those friends, they start saying, positive things you know they put as much stock and value in what the new person on juice plus is saying than from what i've been trying to share with them same information different different uh what do you say person you know giving the message so i'm going yeah, so why why would you be afraid to have a group together what is it that holds you back from doing that do you think Oh, I don't like to talk in front of a group of people. Because? Because I have insecurities about it, clearly. However, since I went to the garden club and spoke to 50 people, I'm a lot better. Oh, good. Yeah, so it takes practice, but then just, I think, too, as a reframe, is a comfort level. make it more about them versus about you. I mean, you're really having... We had four individual conversations at the same time with the people because yeah we made it about them right so it wasn't about us and it wasn't about us trying to convince them of anything it was like look you know if we had something that could help is that something that you'd be ready to 
to make that change today? Oh, by the way, that's a great question to ask before you even get started. Um, after you've gone through, you know, what, what um, motivated you to come question, right? You know, if you could change something before you even start your presentation, I always like to ask them. So sounds like, you know, you guys are looking for some solutions. So if I had something that would help and, you know, we, we, we could show that to you tonight. Is that something you'd want to get changed tonight? Or did you, sometimes I'll tease people and say, or did you want to keep looking for something for the, another two to three years, you know? Yeah. So they always go, yes. And that, that, do I have to close them now? I haven't even told them about Juice Plus yet. Yeah. No. You know, are you prepared? You know, are you, is this something that you want to make a change today? Or did you want to keep struggling with that? Such a great question. So if you're looking for a solution, say that, say that again, because yeah, I'll just say it sounds to me like you, you know, like whatever, let's say whatever it was, the, uh, the person with inflammation or whatever, or the person that's trying to lose weight because of tread season, yeah. you know, what else have you tried? And maybe I've gotten all of their answers and say, gosh, you guys. So, you know, what I heard you say was that you, you know, are struggling with some inflammation. You like to get that pared down. You, you wanted to lose some weight. You wanted to do this, whatever. If I had something that would help with all of those issues, is that something you guys would like to, to start making those changes today? You know, is that something you're prepared to start making if it was something that could help? Just ask the question. When they say yes, then I just give them the information, right? Yes. And I just say, okay, so you guys said you were ready to, to kind of make those changes. Did you guys see how, you know, like the, the inflammation study, how that would help you with your, your inflammation or how that would reduce your soreness and have you back on your bike sooner? Or do you see how getting all of those fruits and vegetables in will help you to lose those toxins so that your body will believe you and lose those, lose that weight. And that program could help you. You know, did you see that? Yes. Well, if you'd like to get started, here's, you know, you go through the order form. Okay. So I'm just tying it back to what? What am I tying it back Their to? Need. At the end? Their need. Them. Yeah. It's always about them. How can I help them? How can I assist them? Not about them buying something from me. Okay. Yeah. It's a, it's a whole different energy. Do you guys feel it? Yes. Okay. All right. Okay. Reagan, I just like to say something about Toastmasters. So for anybody that might be a little bit afraid of standing in front of a group, look for a local Toastmasters group and join, or you can just go and visit and see if you want to join. I'll have to tell you that before Toastmasters, I wouldn't even be speaking to you here on the computer. I would be with my, you know, I would be hiding. So yeah, and it's a great place to network also. Lots and lots of people. In fact, I think they call Toastmasters the biggest networking group in the world. So. Yeah, and if you've got um, idiosyncrasies in your speech patterns, it helps right. too, right? Yes, it does. I should take it just for that. <laughs> yeah. it, it, it can be really fun. It is fun. It is really fun. So, yeah, I suggest that for anybody who might have a little bit of fear around public speaking. Yeah, it's a great place to go and, and meet friends, one thing, and then to get feedback on your speaking and, yeah. if, you know, to do speeches and, yeah. Yep. Anybody else? Any other questions or comments? Okay. Are you guys willing to set up two Healthy Living Revolution events for yourself? Yeah. Or are you willing to go help your new team member with yes. their first two? Yes. Will you do that this week and, and get that on your calendar? Yes. Yes. Will you? Yes. Okay, because as you have people join your team, you guys, it's not about who you know, it's about who they know. And so once you get, you know, you've got your customer base built and you're, you know, you always have new people that are coming on all the time, but you know, you're going to be able to help in somebody else's living room impact more lives, right? And then we teach them and they're in somebody else's living room and you're off into somebody else's living room and back into your own home. Your business will grow fast. So fast. 
versus you doing one-on-one, 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 right? You can have four or, you know, three or four orders in an hour and a new person looking to join your team, right? Mm -hmm. So much better than if we had done that for four hours of coffee. Not that those aren't good too. I'm not saying don't do those. I'm just saying let's maximize your time and your impact. And when people are having fun and laughing together, having a glass of wine together and shake together, you know, that's when your community starts to build and that's when you re- your business starts to really kick off because people like to be around a community of people that are inspired and we are certainly inspiring. So um, you guys inspire me and I just, I thank you guys for all that you do, you know, in your living rooms and um, I'm just really, I'm really proud of our team. So with that, I'm going to shut off the recording and you guys.